for the fourth successive season. United played a changed team from the Worthington Cup side with only Phil Neville retaining his place. Walter Smith was hoping his side could halt United's Premiership charge. Everton kick off with uh, matches in all competitions, seven in the league, which is their best run in a couple of years, but they haven't yet scored at home this season. But Ferguson almost does with 14 seconds on the clock. What an incredible start! Well, they obviously want to bury the statistic of being the only side not to score at home this season. That was a magnificent save from Peter Schmeichel and a fiery start from Duncan Ferguson. Well, he's always a menace to Manchester United. Collins with a corner, Ferguson in the game! And an easier catch for Peter Schmeichel, who's made two saves in the opening 40 seconds. A pace which suits their style. Brown, Scholes makes an excellent run, and he's onside. And Myra has to go to ground, and where was the Everton defence then? Now ball. Bakayoko in behind Stam, who just, just enough to... Full score lines. Only Les Ferdinand has scored at Goodison Park for Tottenham Hotspur. This is Bakayoko. Ibrahima with a drop of the shoulder, turning Brown inside out. Wonderful skills from the Ivory Coast International. Plays it back to Collins. Now it's Ball drop of the shoulder. You can tell by that shot is actually a naturally left footy player. They're going to arrest most of them for the. Game against Berry. This is Blomfist. Cole is well to turn. Looks for Scholes. Plays it into York. Oh, great save, but not enough. Dwight York follows up and he scored again. Well, nobody realised that Dwight York was such a prolific scorer when Alex Ferguson paid so much money to sign him for Aston Villa, but he has an incredible instinct. A goal made by a combination of Cole and Scholes. York not the first time, but he rebounded with his eighth goal as a Manchester United player. Unselfish work by Scholes to lay on Dwight York, the old one-two, makes it 1-0 to Manchester United. Beckham, almost worth having a shot from out there. Fires it in! Oh, and... York to Keane. Intelligent play by United. Great ball by Keane. Blomquist turns Kadamatri with ease. Well, wasn't aiming for Beckham, but uh, not a bad man to find the ball. Great ball from Beckham and... Well... Combination of uh, Everton players. Combined and it's a goal! Unbelievable! Goodison Park cannot believe it! Well, the most ungainly of collisions at the far post. There was a delay. Nobody could quite believe the ball had gone into the net. Well, a dramatic own goal from Craig Short. Watson and Short went for the ball, and it was a comedy of errors. What an incredible goal! The whole of Goodison was silenced, the ball ended up in the net, and nobody could quite believe that Everton had allowed it to slip through like that. Unsworth and Matarazzi and Ferguson and Short, all six foot plus. Up it goes, Ferguson's there! Now Everton stand a chance. A classic Everton goal, a classic Duncan Ferguson goal. One dimensional, but it does work. Well, there was nothing flamboyant about it. Into the area, and the strongest man won the challenge. And it needs some strength to hold off Roy Keane, the man assigned to mark in Duncan Ferguson. Shrugged him aside. Few players do that. Everton backing with a chance. Duncan Ferguson won, Manchester United two. It's Ferguson with a header, oh, he's so close to a second.
Well, much better football from Everton. Hit high, and again, it was Duncan Ferguson who was the only player committed to getting to the ball. And it was a fraction away. Improve the situation. With him on the right-hand side, Archie Knox, who is formerly Alex Ferguson's assist. Ferguson taking a seat alongside his uh, pal, Walter Smith, for the second half. And it's Manchester United who kick off the second half, looking for only their second away win. Away from home in the Premiership this season. They start to the second half at a pretty ferocious pace. Well, it was a tough decision then for the referee. It was that a penalty or was it a free kick to Everton? And Mr Jones has given Everton the free kick, which is an interesting decision. Well, Blomquist did collide with Unsworth. This is where Everton are always dangerous. Collins with the free kick up goes Ferguson again, and he hits the post this time. But they've been chasing Duncan Ferguson again. They didn't grab a hold of him. And he forced Yap Stam into heading the ball against his own post. Exactly the same spot that Craig Short scored the own goal in the first half. Kadamatri. The game being played at a frantic pace. Kadamatri skips around Neville, puts in a good cross. Everybody flying and it falls to Ferguson to Collins! Oh, unlucky. Well, he didn't go for power, he went for precision. It's complete mayhem in the Manchester United penalty area. Beckham collides with Brown. Schmeichel chases the ball. Shim pads it away. Collins. Now Kadamatri. Short. Bakayoko. Great skill. Oh, that was tremendous. No doubt. Ferguson with a the man they're aiming for again. It is. He gets a header on goal. And... And Manchester United have a player extra in attack here. It's Blomquist. Now Cole. No mistaking. Andy Cole. That's why they pay him so much. And this season he is proving to be absolutely lethal. A dagger to the heart of Everton. Death little touch from Blomquist. Cole doesn't have to think about situations like that. A tremendous goal, a typical Andy Cole goal. Manchester United 3-1 up. And surely it's too far now for Everton to chase the game. Alex Ferguson's decision to select Cole alongside York. Half so well, you can see there's an empty seat between the Everton coaches there. Chris Woods and Archie Knox are calling again for Walter Smith to come down and the bathroom to come down and orchestrate things at touchline level. Heads up. And to Collins, who completely missed kicks. Beckham gets the ball to Keane. Now they have two spare men, Manchester United. Beckham plays it to Blomquist. Surely it's going to score United's fourth. Great save. Not enough. 4 1 Manchester United. They're rampant. A moment which means an awful lot to Jesper Blomquist. His first goal as a Manchester United player. Myra again, unfortunate that he made a good save. And for the second time in the game, it rebounded to a Manchester United player. And for the fourth time in the game, Manchester United score. Manchester United, summer signing, scores his first goal. Poor old Thomas Myra was left with three Manchester United players bearing down and him, no protection at all. Blomquist was deadly. Longfest, great turn, left the core on the seat of his pants, fires through Cole, who can't go around. Thomas Myra. The way that he and many expected, but a world-class player in the World Cup for 
Scotland and Peter Schmeichel, who's in. Schmeichel, the Manchester United goalkeeper, is having a word with the referee because a couple of uh, missiles have been thrown onto the pitch from the goal behind Schmeichel. Well, needless, really, and uh, goalkeepers have had their troubles at Goodison Park this season. Mark Bosnich, the Aston Villa goalkeeper, was cleared this week of uh, making comments to some of the uh, Everton fans behind that goal. That is ridiculous. There are half a dozen plastic bottles being thrown onto the field. It's needless. It's just prolonging the agony for the Everton players and supporters. Danger everywhere you look at this Manchester United team. The goals attempts the fifth, saved by the post. Blomquist tiptoes through a minefield in there, plays it into Cole. Falls to Beckham, who stabs it in, and Myra makes a save in the poke in the penalty area. And the referee brings Everton's agony to an end. Another exemplary performance from Manchester United. They rode their luck, but they were given. An early lead from Dwight York, again lethal in attack with Andy Cole. Cole really scoring the killer goal for Manchester United, just as Everton thought they were fighting their way back into the game. The final score at Goodison Park, Everton 1, Manchester United 4.